Hi guys, this is going to be a really short tutorial just to show you how to add items like this. So you can create your own type of hats or pieces of hair that plug and play onto your character that you're building for your Lego man. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all these things. And we reached this point last time in the last video. So all you need to do to create a hat is you press uh, Shift A. And there's many ways to do this. I'm going to do this a different way than what I did before. I'm going to use a circle and if we press 7 you can see the circle over there I'm going to press 1 to go to front orthographic view and I'm going to lift this up all the way to about here and then I am going to press E to extrude or first press tab to go into edit mode E to extrude well, hold up, better yet well I'm in edit mode I'm going to press 2 to select edge select I've got all the edges selected and then I'm going to press F to fill and then I'm going to press 1 for orthographic view and then I'm going to press E to extrude and uh, you can lock it to the Z axis but mine's already locked to the Z axis because I'm in front orthographic view and I want this to be uh, not too thick about that thick should be fine there we go and then I want to press I to intrude and we can create an intrusion to about we can decide how much we want it to be. I actually want this one to be... Yeah, let's make this this one different. Let's make it all the way yeah. But before we carry on, I'm going to press 7. Uh, Numpad 7. I'm just going to make this neat and straight. Um, Alright. Uh, let me just double check location on the z-axis what if this is zero and this is zero okay and let's just look at the lego man well i'm going to copy this axis just to save time it should be zero if yours is zero you won't have this issue i'm going to select this plane i'm going to paste that and now when I lift this all the way up here, I'm going to press 1 for front orthographic view. Make sure I've got the right alignment. I'm happy with that. Maybe a bit more. It, it, let's put it all the way there. And the next thing I'm going to do is press tab. Now that I'm in edit mode and I've intruded until there, I'm going to press 7, or well, press 1, and I'm going to press E to extrude again. And we can extrude all the way here to about there and I'm going to press S to make it just a little bit off and then I'm going to press 2 for edge select then I'm going to press alt and select all these edges and then I'm going to press S just to scale it in a little bit and if we press 1 that's how it looks and that's how it looks. Now it still doesn't look 100% right so what we can do is we can select this we can shade smooth and if it still doesn't look right we can go to object data properties normals and if we make it all the way there we can see all the detail. If we make it all the way here it doesn't look right. So we're just trying to look for the right point where all the detail is there. I think 45 is yeah 45 is what I want it to be on and uh, there you have it. Now the, the one issue we have with this hat, it's not exactly plug and play yet because if we select this hat, we don't see the cut out there. So I'm going to leave it on his head so we know where exactly we want it. Then we're going to click on modifier, add modifier, we're going to choose boolean and we're going to click on this eyedropper and select this face and then we can just um, apply. And Now when we lift this up, we can see the Lego cutout. Let's lift it all the way up quickly and just make sure it looks right. I'm going to press tab and I'm going to press R. I'm just going to bring that down just to keep it even smoother. That already looks fine, so it's only that. And there you have it. We've just created our own unique hat. And you, there's a million things you can do with this. And if you want to put it on the head correctly, 
we can choose wireframe mode we can look at this and we can lock it in let's zoom in there you go now it's exactly on his head in the right place and we've just created a hat and you can always modify this hat at any way you like I mean, one thing I'd like to play around with is press 3 for face select, select this face, press I. And press Alt, lift this up, press 7, scale this on the x-axis. So it's got more of a cowboy effect. And then I'm going to select this, bring this down a bit, and scale it on the x axis just a bit. And uh, just to create some more realism, or just you can really have fun with this, uh, we're going to press 2 for uh, edge select, and we're going to just select a couple of edges here. Press 1 for alignment. Oh. There we go. And I'm just going to bring this down just a little bit with the proportional tool. In fact, I'm just going to select this edge and I'm going to press G. just to give it some more a more interesting shape so it's not too um, so it's not too perfect and you probably want to do the same with the sides here and for the sides to work you probably need a little bit more detail here and I'm going to do I'm going to press this. Now if we press 1, it doesn't look too perfect. It looks like a hat that's been worn quite a lot. So, so it just gives a very, very nice uh, touch. And uh, there you have it. We've created our own unique hat. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial interesting. In the next video, uh, now that you know how to make your own hair or hat, you know how to make a plug and play set for your Lego piece, we will be UV unwrapping this in the next tutorial.